For three, two, one. Hey, we're live. This is 2OF Entertainment. Hey, hey, look at us. We're back. Hi, hi, hi. Here, I'll just do one little close up of everybody. Now we've scared. Oh, look at the monkey. You disappeared, Morton. I like that. All yeah, right, I, know, I know, I know, I know, I <laughs> know. <laughs> That's why I brought the, uh, a monkey. You know, we need uh, uh, the monkey. Uh, no no monkey. No monkey, monkey on your pants. All right, there you go. Well, yeah, look, yeah. today we're gonna, we, have our, we have our resident art expert outside of Canada because we have the Canadian art show. And then we have our resident yeah. Canadian art expert. But we have Emma, who's our art expert outside of Canada. And today, you guys are going to talk about comics of the 90s, I think, right? Oh, every comics. Uh, I, um, I am a huge fan of comics uh, okay. since uh, 1930 uh, with uh, Alex Raymond, with uh, Flash wait, wait, Gordon. 19, you're not that old. So you've been a no, fan 19, of comics since 30. 1930? 30, oh. 30, yes, with uh, Flash mm -hmm. Gordon, uh, Alex okay. Raymond, and then uh, drawn by Al Williamson. It's a great art, uh, black and white art. And I'm, okay. I'm very fond of uh, American comics. I learned to draw with uh, American comics. And, okay, well, we have on the Canadian Art Show, they did, the, they had the artist, and I have to go back now and find that show. But we had the artist that was the artist that killed Superman in the comic books. <laughs> so that was a, an interesting show. But wait, now you're wearing a shirt. So let's give you a solo shot and show everybody what you're wearing. And you can tell everybody yes. about this comic. I, I am wearing a T-shirt uh, from Homage Comics and Image Comics uh, right. with uh, several uh, heroines. You have uh, a uh, third child. Uh, from uh, oh, can't remember. Uh, then you have uh, Vodou uh, and uh, Zelot from Wildcats. It's uh, oh, wow. comics on the nineties, drawn by and created by Jim Lee, who's now uh, running uh, DC Comics. And I'm very oh, wow. fond of his. Yeah, I'm really fond of his heart. Before he he created uh, Homage Comics. Uh, he was on Marvel and did a great, 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 great art on X Men. Uh, it was very amazing, and he w he has many artists with him, uh, such as um, uh, Mark Silvestri, um, Will Sportaccio, uh, John Benitez, people like that who came right. with him uh, in the nineties on the new edition. Uh, call image and okay. you you have uh, many studio on it and a really good creation it was amazing you have many many arts it changing from dc or marvel uh, stuff like that it was very new something new and um, a little bit independent such as savage dragon by eric larsen uh, yeah. you have a spawn uh, with Todd oh, McFarlane. Sure. Uh, so let me ask you this. Did the comics become more popular and famous when Stan Lee got involved? Well, like when he started to really go out of the box or were the comics already popular? They become more popular when Stan Lee was like, let me take it to the next level. Uh, Stan Lee bring in, brings the comics in the next level with the okay. creation of Marvel. It's really new. Uh, it was very different from uh, what it used to be because uh, before you have uh, DC Comics with Superman right. and Batman and Wonder Woman, a uh, hero like that. And uh, you have uh, other comics uh, drawn by Frank Frazetta, uh, Wallace Wood, uh, Corbin, uh, in, the, in the things such as uh, uh, Tales of Horror, uh, EC Comics, uh, Weird Science, stuff like that. And uh, now you have 
another kind of comics. Marvel comics is really changed before. Uh, heroes are more human. They are more concerned and they have to deal with the problem that people are use, uh, are facing in their daily lives. And it's yeah. changing from uh, Batman or Superman. Superman is he, strong and uh, n not really human, almost a god. But now right. you have heroes who are normal people, usual people, and they got power. And how do they deal with it? What they are doing, uh, what, what their implication for the greater good, but the for the world, but also uh, for themselves. You have the problem, the couple problem, the problem uh, with the X-Men. Uh, it, it was a, a mirror from the society with racism because right. you mutant are cast aside. Uh, people look at them as if they were not normal. It's not... Um, and it's really a mirror of the society. And it was very different from the DC comics. I think the, the stories are very, very different. And uh, Marvel uh, is really close to people. That's why the, the movie uh, has so much success now. People Emma, discover. Emma, can, can I just ask you, you, you are, you're too good on on this. <laughs> uh, how, how how many how many people are reading uh, comic books uh, uh, in, in in the world today? Do you know? No, I don't know. But uh, I have. I... I know. I have Google. Uh, <laughs> Eight hundred million. Yo. Uh, copies. Ten percent of the pop. So it's ten percent of the population. Mm. Yeah. And uh, in, in in this TV and uh, you know mo monitor uh, uh, time, it's it's very good. It, it's keeping very good up. Uh, there were more before, but but yeah. Mm. So it gives some answers to to uh, to to someone, but. Are, are they like uh, I, I'm an old man and S Stephen is young. Uh, you are <laughs> even younger. But but um, are there still some morals in 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 the series like there were in in the old times when I read this? Um, I don't know it now because uh, I'm not. In uh, I read more independent comics now, uh, but I know there was there were more in it, uh, such as Spider-Man with great power comes great responsibility, and uh, with uh, Charles Xavier in uh, X-Men, who is very um, protective of uh, normal people and very uh, had a vision of uh, ideal world who people are together in peace and yeah. help each other. That, uh, so it's definitely fantasy. Uh, so. Yes. So wait, <laughs> let me ask you this. So when I was growing up as a kid, I mean, I had like the Fantastic Four and the Justice League, and I probably still have them somewhere. But we also had Mad Magazine. So is Mad yeah. Magazine yeah. considered a comic, <laughs> or is Mad Magazine considered just outside the realm of, of comics? No, it, it is in the realm of comics. It's uh, another branch. Uh, in it, you have uh, Robert Crumb, who is uh, sometimes uh, very, very trash, very, <laughs> very... Yeah. Uh, uh, and it's, uh, it's amazing comics. You have a most satiric. In France, we have Charlie Hebdo, is a right. newspaper with uh, caricature stuff like that. But yeah, it's a, it's the same spirit in it. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mad, no, I mad, mad magazine as a kid. I wasn't. I would yeah. read the Fantastic Four and I read the Justice League and I would read all this stuff and I'm like, I could care less. And then I got I found Mad Magazine and I was like, oh, and I was like six or seven, and I was like, now this I like because Mad Magazine <laughs> was like 
on the edge and out there and made yeah, fun of yeah, everybody. Yeah, and I was, yeah, that was yeah, the best. Yeah. But the but the uh, comics like the X Men didn't care in my for me and Superman didn't care. Like it was sort of like okay, all right, that's nice. You know, like, because they all want to save the world. It's like Kumbaya. I'm like, that's not happening. Then you go to oh, Mad Magazine wrong. and they're just calling out everybody. Or they're doing a parody of, like, Bullet. Um, you know, and to me, that was sort of like, okay, that's more real life. So, I, so it's very interesting. But, yeah, Mad Magazine to me was the comic of choice growing up in the 60s and 70s. That was the comic that I would read all the time. Yeah. I had a subscription had where it got that. delivered every week to the house. Hmm. So. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, back the the other ones didn't have it. You had to go to the local, you know, five and dime, if you will, right? And you had to go get your comic, and you go, "Oh my god, I've got the comic!" You know, but Mad Magazine in the back of it, you could subscribe for I don't know, it was like four dollars a year or something, and you got your comic yeah. once a week. It would come out, and I was like, "This is awesome!" That was like you waited for that all week, so all the way, all the way to the post office, to, or, or, or to to hmm. the you know to 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 get it and read it before the others. Well, we're in our neighborhood that we had, your door had a mail slot. This is really old, yeah, right? Now everybody gets yeah, a central. Yeah. They would just drop it in this mail slot and you would just go to the door and get it. And I was like, ah, yeah, okay, but yeah, okay. but no, comics are interesting. I think the movies, the comic movies now have lost their flair. I don't think yes. people, you know, it's sort of like they keep doing and doing. I know Deadpool 3 has brought it back a little bit. But, you know, that's, I think, more Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman than anything else. And it's the sarcasm and the 113 F words that are used. I think people want that. But most of the time, the last one what was I would, that came out was something I don't even remember. Some girl turned into something or a guy turned into a bug. And it didn't do anything, the last <laughs> Spider-Man. So I think they're losing their appeal because I think the formulas run out. In the movies, I don't know in the print version if they're still – you know, if 80 million or 800 million people are reading comics, yeah. apparently in the print version, they're not. But comics then went from comics to graphic novels, right? They got yeah. the graphic novels yes. are just a, mm. another branch of the comics. Yeah. Yes, graphic novels are very upper. It's a upper side of the comics. Graphic novel, right. uh, you have uh, many um, uh, good artists on it, and they are underestimated because they are really great, such as David Mack, who is right. uh, who is who is uh, doing on watercolor. You have uh, Bill Senkevich, who is uh, painted sometimes oil painting, sometimes pastels, and is a great artist and. Some uh, such as uh, Terry Moore, uh, right. I really like it. Uh, I'm very fond of Terry Moore because he's independent and he's black and white artist and he's self-published and uh, he, he made uh, different series such as Strangers in Paradise, uh, Echo, Rachel Rising, um, uh, Motor Girl, uh, stuff right. like that and is amazing, amazing. I, I have the chance to translate one of his uh, comics called Molly and Pooh. Yes, okay. uh, for the former edition uh, Chimera, Chimera edition, and uh, before it was uh, Delcourt. And uh, I am very pleased to to translate it because it's a part of a Victorian novel in a comics. With the uh, with the language of Victorian, it was very. Mm. It was as if I was translated. Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> the name <laughs> I goes blank. Um, yeah. Ah. Um, mm. Arwa. That's okay. These things. These it's things okay. happen. <laughs> things go blank. But no, I like. I think they're very cool. I I know in Japan when I'm on a subway there, everyone's reading. Well, when the subways are not crowded, reading a graphic novel or a comic. Mm -hmm. um, and I know in school when I was a kid, we used to, but not so much anymore. And I think a lot of it, it's lost its luster. And I think a lot of it because people don't read. So that's why. And I don't know if these 800 million people are reading comics or they're collecting comics. I think that's the, uh, you know, I yeah. think that's a, that's a big, yeah. that's a big, I don't think 800 million people read, unfortunately. No. <laughs> um, you, so, you, but I mean, right. I like, but, but, I've gone to the comic cons and I've gone to the comic festivals mm -hmm. where you can buy vintage comics and whatever. And mm -hmm. there's a guy in Dubai who's got like the first Superman and the first this and the first that, and they're very cool, but it's sort of like, okay, 
You know what I mean? It's like at, it's at some point, like when's the crazy stop? They're like, I'm not going to pay a million dollars for a comic. You know, it's like, it's very nice, but I don't know if they're that nice. I mean, it's cool because it's history, but yeah, it's a different type of history, I guess. Yeah. I have to just say that my favorite, uh, w w uh, except of uh, uh, Mad, right. is L Lucky Luke. No, Lucky Luke, yeah. <laughs> yes, it's you, a French. You, you, you have Lucky Luke in in uh, US? No, not oh, even he's... a clue what it is. Oh, he, he's a uh, he's, he's a, a cowboy. He's a cowboy, <laughs> okay. and he shoots faster than his own shadow. Yes. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Oh, and he you're, has you're the the, the dog three three. <laughs> Three Dalton brothers who is uh, making uh, his life miserable. Okay. The Dalton well, brothers. Why, why didn't he just shoot them? Well, maybe the shadow is too fast for him. I, 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 <laughs> could, I don't know. And now I remember we had a comic called Sad Sack, so that was good. But no one remembers Sad Sack. You know, Beetle Bailey, Sad Sack, all those guys, and the Western comics don't even. I don't ever think I saw a Western comic. As a kid, so the, the, there is one fact. You know, I'm I'm a statistic man just now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> do you know how many? Uh, do you know how many? Uh, how many percentage uh, of all of the universe of all readers uh, of comic co comic books who are uh, looking at uh, uh, manga? Oh, manga exploded. <clears throat> it's, uh, I think it's, uh, maybe, uh, 80% stuff like oh, that. Oh, wow. Tell us about what it is then. F 53, it says, but I, I don't know. Uh, okay. I, I check how old it is. Uh, in France, we are the second country in the world who reads comics, uh, who reads uh, manga. Ah. Yes. Uh, in France, you have a, a really big tradition on comics, uh, either uh, European, French, uh, Belgian, yeah. uh, America. And when the manga came, uh, Belgium, people yeah, are, yeah. Were, were very fond of it. Because you have a manga for everything, for every kind of audience. And uh, you have uh, some amazing art in it, such as uh, Tsukasa Ojo. Uh, on um, uh, Family Compo. Uh, uh, foo -foo -foo. <laughs> I'm many blanks today. Uh, Steve, yeah, but, yeah, but Steven, Steven knows so much about manga. Come on. Uh, I think I've never even heard of it. Rio Saiba, City Hunter, we call it in France. Rio Saiba. Uh, but could you could you explain? Uh, uh, I I know a bit w what it is. Uh, I I had a daughter. At, uh, I have. You a had a daughter. Still, you still have a daughter. I still have a daughter. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry, Ma Ma Marielle. Uh, sorry. Oh, yeah. uh, but but uh, I was going to uh, see this and ask what happened. She's like, Dad, yeah, what happened? Yeah. Not your daughter anymore. She's going to be very upset. No, I'm, so. the, the animal in in the back ate me. But but um, <laughs> you uh, you have to explain, uh, Stephen. Please. For once, for once in his life, he can hear yeah. something new. Oh my God! Well, not, you're asking uh, me to explain. She has to explain. No, what no, Emma, 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 you you have to explain, uh, Stephen. What? Ah, uh, yeah, manga are very yeah. fond. People are very fond of manga because uh, it is very different, a different kind of art. It was very uh, dynamic, uh, such as if you read a a, mo uh, a movie on paper. Right. <laughs> it was oh, okay. very 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 dynamic, uh, very fast, and. Uh, like I said, there is uh, a lot of manga for every kind of audience. So okay. people found so usually find something uh, it would please them. They will be very fond of it, very fond of the story of the characters, and uh, it's it's nearly a community. People came together, read the manga 
uh, exchange talk about it and mm -hmm. goes to convention uh, do cosplay and uh, they make the manga lives and uh, okay. it's very yes and it's very uh, and you have yeah, always with, with, with costumes and stuff like that also right, right. yeah because in the costume it it helps them to to escape from their daily lives they became yeah. a hero so this is like time. comic con in san diego basically yes, right everybody yes. dresses up and they go and they do and the, <laughs> the girls get to dress how they would never dress in their real life because their moms or dads or husbands or boyfriends would kill them um mm. and yeah. guys dress <clears throat> that they would never dress so that so it's like a comic a big comic con it helps them escape reality for four or five days yeah. and get in touch yeah. with their characters yeah. Here you have the Japan Expo. Uh, you have several right. Japan Expo in the major in the major city uh, of France, and uh, there are many many people in it. Um, did, it did it come from J Japan? Uh, or originally? No, Be because, uh, it's, because uh, it, it has it a depends. name. You the, have the, some, the name is some... kind of. You are, it calls Japan Expo uh, because uh, it, uh, what is bring before is uh, everything coming from Japan. Um, you have uh, uh, the customs, you have uh, martial arts, you have uh, a tea yeah. ceremony, uh, you have uh, taiko music and uh, okay. some shows and uh, many things uh, dealing with uh, manga, uh, such as cosplay. But you have uh, some of uh, Japanese coming from Japan to perform show uh, while the manga expo. Uh, it's a manga exhibition. You have a singer, you have a performer, you have um, uh, animators from the emission on NHK World. Uh, called uh, imagination. Uh, you have many things like that, and I was. It was very amazing to to meet them. I, I meet them quite uh, a bit, and uh, I say, "Wow!" <laughs> I watch them on TV, <laughs> and they're in front of me. <laughs> I'm yeah. not that nice. I can talk with them. It's uh, it's amazing. <laughs> well, I can cool. surprise you because I have a Toyota Prius. It, it yeah. has nothing. I have a Toyota. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. It, it has nothing to do with this theme, but uh, it had to be said. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to show. So that's very cool. I like. I like the what you call. I like. I do like the comics. I think you know. For for some people, I know. Like they made Moby Dick into a comic. You know, they made a lot of the classics in the comics, which actually make them easier to read. Um, so in that respect, I like them. Um, I've been to one Comic-Con, which I thought was interesting. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a fun thing to do. It's, a, and it's an escape from reality. I'm hoping that the movies for the comics get better. You know, yeah. I hope they have more of the Deadpool Wolverine type stuff where it's like more real life where every, no one, the problem I have with all the other ones is no one swears, no one gets mad, no one does this. Mm -hmm. You know, and in Wolverine, Deadpool, whatever, Deadpool 3, you know, you have them being real people. So I'm hoping that they they go more into that like they do, I guess, in the comics and stuff. And I for, like for, the graphics. And so, and unfortunately, yeah. Mad Magazine's not around anymore, which is sad. No, we have to open it again. Mm -hmm. But, but, but no, I, I, I'm, I'm, That's I'm not a the bit humor. surprised. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm a bit surprised because... When when I look at my uh, site here and it's for uh, it's written this year, uh, when I see uh, sci-fi, mm -hmm. it's only only two percent, and mm -hmm. superheroes that that right. was so in uh, in 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 the earlier days, only four percent. So manga has uh, uh, really taken over this. Uh, this planet that's very cool yes, <laughs> yes. and in sci-fi you have uh, some newspaper on sci-fi such as epic comics and uh, here in france we have metal hurlant uh, in england too and um, 
people, famous people such as uh, Moebius, Corbin, uh, John Jemus. Um, you, they, they, they are they are in it, and uh, uh, you can uh, discover a different kind of artist on a different story, and uh, read them uh, from month to month, or buy uh, the the book after. <laughs> If you right, want. right. And it, so you can you can binge read it. <laughs> that is very cool. Wait, wait, wait. Is, uh, no. are, are, are you buying a lot? Uh, I'm sorry, we 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 are hacking a bit. Uh, someone is happening with the system. But I, I was just wondering, are you buying on on eBay, on Amazon? Or, uh, no. no, no. I I go to to the specialized shop for it. Oh. Uh, always. Always, I have a. I call them my comics dealer. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I, I'd like to. That. I prefer to to make their li <laughs> they live instead of the huge platform. Uh, I prefer uh, to support them. Uh, yeah. For them, otherwise they disappear one after one. Yeah. Right. And and the Very first nice comics is also for uh, always for free, you know, since it's a dealer. When you are know, using to buy a lot of comics, sometimes you have a free comics, yes. Or the small ah. store. If you if you're if you're at a big store, like you know, a big market, they don't yeah. When they when it's a when it's no. a proprietor shop, it's a lot different. Because they see you every week and they're like, here's one for you. Or I put this aside or something that I get. So that's very cool. Well, next week we're going to do something different, right? Next week we're going to do the heart show instead of ad hoc. And you have an artist coming on next week. The heart yes. and art show. Yes. The heart yes and art show. So who's a, the artist next week? A painter called uh, Oriane Philippon. She's a French painter and she's amazing. She is really, uh, uh, her art is very uh, original, uh, very okay. awesome, and uh, she is a very yeah. talented person. She customized a mm -hmm. truck to do workshop, uh, to do uh, studio um, through France, through the world, France. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. That's and uh, she is really, really amazing. Well, that'll be fun to. Yeah. Well, I'll be forward to look. I can't even speak today. That will be something to look forward to for next week. I gotta stop. I have to drink more scotch in the morning. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah. Come on. But, come on. But this is very cool. So, if next time we do a show on comics, if we can get one of these manga people or somebody on, that would be awesome. Uh, <laughs> with with, with then, clothing, with clothing and everything, you know, like yeah, the whole cause. If we can get someone to dress up, that'd be very cool. <laughs> And was yeah. thinking about it. It's like, all right, let me see who I know. <laughs> let me see who wants to dress up at three in the afternoon. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I can yeah. dress uh, as a Punisher. I have uh, the wall. <laughs> yes, I know. We have what you call. We have to get someone else to do the dressing up for us. So, yes. but that was very yeah. cool. Well, the, you know, a brief history of comics and everything. Emma's like an encyclopedia, so we can do many more shows on comics. Yeah and be a little yeah. more precise on what we do, I think that'll be good for the audience. But I think this is just a good overview for the audience to get an idea of what comics are, the different venues of comics, which I think a lot of people don't understand. There's, there's a lot of venues out there, and I think everybody in their own country thinks that they're the comics are for them, but it's actually a global thing. So um, mm -hmm. I like that brief history of comics. It was very good. So thank you very much for that, guys. But, but, but I, have, I have a question. Apparently you don't. Then, you know, always <laughs> when you at, at least in in, in Europe, there, there's a little strip with with, with comics, you know, uh, or, or two right. or three in the newspaper. No, not in, yeah, not not in America. Yeah. Maybe I don't know in in, in Europe. So, so we used to have the uh, sun the Sunday paper in America used to be yeah. like this thick, and the mm -hmm. comics section was this thick, and now you have maybe five or six comics. You don't have yeah. what we used yeah. to have. Yeah. We used to have like, you know, you, you could spend a day reading the comic strips in a newspaper. Now they don't exist. But but the point is the 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 newspapers are selling less and less uh, right. after we have uh, 
the screen uh, time. Yeah. So, so um, why don't they uh, put in some comics uh, also on, on online? You know, like uh, the, I'm the sure newspaper there are. could. There are. Yes, there yes, are. Comics online. Okay. Yes. okay. Yes, but uh, I as a um, as a creator of uh, comics and uh, uh, drawer. Uh, I think it's better to have uh, a comics in book because yeah, okay, uh, yeah. you have uh, the panels are put in uh, some way uh, for the story and it is um, a narration. It was a, a kind of dynamic you lose when you read it on uh, Kindle or, um, or uh, phone yeah. or stuff like that. It's yeah, too bad yeah. because uh, you, you lose everything. It, it's, it's like a bear. It's it's not good to read about a bear. It's much better to have it in the hand, you know, with, and, and, and drink it. Yeah. Sure, let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> cheers. Cheers, by the way. A scotch, uh, I, can, I, can, I agree with you on I would, that's, It just still applies to a scotch and a cigar for me. It's better to drink it and smoke it than to read about it. So, you don't it, drink it beer? No. You, not at all? No. Okay. No problem. <laughs> I, I know that you, you, the audience, I know you drink a lot of beer. Listen, if you're talking about comics, they all live in the basement of their mom and dad's or grandma's house. They don't drink beer. They don't even know what a woman is. All right? So calm down. Okay? They're like you're looking at the comic books thinking that Wonder Woman is real. Let's calm down here. Like, they, they drink beer. They don't even okay. – they, they drink milk. Let's get, you know, they drink milk. That's about it. Oh, the strongest thing oh, for them is get Coca-Cola. Are we talking yeah. to 10, 10 viewers here now, maybe, or uh, 10,000? Yeah, millions of viewers. Know. Millions of viewers. Listen, always, um, we'll say always. this on here. All right, the YouTube views, maybe a few hundred or a few thousand, but then when we post it on other sites, you get yeah. 20, 30, 50,000 views on other sites. So, yeah, show, yeah. you know, YouTube is just one place that we put our stuff. We put it all yeah. over, so... YouTube is just a small percentage of the views. So whatever you get, you see on YouTube, multiply that usually by about a hundred, and that's where it is everywhere else. But th this uh, this lady Emma Emma is uh, yeah. walking uh, uh, encyclopedia uh, on on this. I I, I talked to her yesterday, and uh, mm -hmm. I was amazed. Uh, but but you 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 have a. You have some edu education also for uh, making uh, this. No, or, I'm self-taught yeah. and uh, I really love comics. So I read them uh, since I was uh, a little, little girl. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> that's why I met my, my boyfriend. <laughs> so, 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 so you don't drink beer either? No, I don't drink beer either. Do it in the basement <laughs> with her folks. I just told you how this works. I'm it's not, a you proof. Know, and her, and proof. her boyfriend, I listen, and she's never met her boyfriend. They talk on the internet. They don't even see each other. They just talk on the internet, show comics. That's it. That's what they do. So I, I oh, don't you have you have to you have to read the comics uh, by by the book. I, mm -hmm. I learned that now. Well, what we should do, we should do a whole series on comics, but we can talk about that off air. So, because I would be pretty, mm. fan, pretty cool about like how they started the original and go like break down each genre and whatever. I think for the com the true comic fan, that would be very cool. This is just like yeah. I said, a good overview. So, and with that, I mean, unless we said we don't ramble and we can next, we'll put a show into order for it. Next week, we're going to do hearts and arts um, instead of ad hoc. So you guys can oh. see some talented artists with, um, with Morton and Emma, so that'll be fun. And then that's the two, it. The, we'll two week. Week. the two next week. The two next week. The two next week. Yes. Because two? we all we also have a lady coming up from um, UK. Uh, after Sjoban yeah. McEvoy. So, yeah. Well, you're gonna do one show. You're gonna do them in sh next week, but the one show one week, one show the other week. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's take one show at a time. I think it's best. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, it's hard to put. To everybody together we'll figure it out not to worry yeah so all right everybody that's watching on youtube and elsewhere thank you very much don't forget to subscribe and like leave more if you want to hear more about comics from emma please tell us and we will make sure that emma will spend hours just droning on with more about comics um and the rest of us will get on with our lives because we have them and apparently you guys don't um and then we'll go from there <laughs> and uh that'll be that so yeah but we're glad we can help you out 
And um, to the people at Mad Magazine that is no longer around, please come back. Um, and yeah, that's it. And we'll see everybody next week. Guys, have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Cheers, everybody. Yeah. Yeah.